last night is Robert Drummond, chairman of the New Push Party. Government through the Ministry of Peace Building have started to address the root causes of conflict in South Sudan by engaging all the 62 political parties in the country in a dialogue. During the opening session of the three days dialogue in Shuba on Tuesday, 24th May 2022, Minister Stephen Park called for the militarization of political process in the country. You are in the government or you, or you are outside the government? You are registered or not registered? What is required of the people of South Sudan now is a democratic political pluralism. A statementship politics that does not resort to political violence. That is what is required by the time. We must demilitarize politics because the SPLM, SPLA culture we all come from is that of political militarism. That does not encourage dialogue. The political process must be demilitarized and democratized for these states of South Sudan to be actually viable. The issues of permanent constitution making process, the financial management reforms, transitional justice, accountability, reconciliation and healing, and humanitarian assistance and reconstruction are critical topics that will be discussed during the dialogue. The ministry's undersecretary, Pierre Philip Michael, believed bringing the parties together would enhance peace in the country. Today, we are here to dialogue. We are here to create a platform that can bring all of us together. We believed that a good working relationship between political parties would take our country forward. We also thought that bringing the political parties together would enhance the capacity of all of us in implementation and also dissemination of the peace agreement. Representative of UN Women, Sia Turunen said the dialogue will create an environment where all the political parties will contribute to peace. This consultative meeting today does not only serve to forge a culture of peace dialogue between and amongst you, the political parties, but also to kickstart a process of creating an environment where all political parties contribute to peace. The Secretary General of Political Parties Council, James Akol, urges the political parties to push for the Political Parties Act to be amended and passed in Parliament. For us as Political Parties Council, we would urge you, all the political parties, to push for the Act, the Political Parties Act, to be amended and passed. We also appeal for you for the reconstitution of the council. We need the council to be reconstituted. And it's you to reconstitute the council. The political parties dialogue is intended to bring together parties secretary of the 18 peace agreement to bring its talk and share views on how to speed up the peace process. For SSS News, I'm Emmanuel Patrick, you are South.